Hey guys, RS Chaos Master Brian here. So this will be a follow-up video to my last Toonami video. And this is going to be a 20th anniversary Toonami video. What I've done is I've taken knowledge of what has happened over the past, well, we'll say past three years. And I have come up with some solutions on how Toonami could be fixed that the ratings would just go through the roof, in my opinion. Um, I've come up with what I believe is the perfect lineup. I have not only just come up with the lineup for now, but I've gone all the way as far as February of next year. So, um, I'm going to talk about this, and uh, hopefully you guys will agree or think that some of my ideas make sense. Maybe not all of them, but... With that, uh, let's begin. So, we'll look at the schedule for April of this year. First thing Toonami should do is move the block up. 12 o'clock should be the last show, in my opinion. That is a perfect cutoff, especially for people who work. And I feel like if you start at 8 and go till... 1230 that would be perfect now you will run into some issues like for instance you can't show Samurai Jack at you know eight o'clock so you would have to rearrange the block and what I have thought of is you put the shonen animes that aren't quite as violent first so you would start off the block with at eight Dragon Ball Super 8.30, Dragon Ball Z Kai. 9, put in One Piece. Have it follow Dragon Ball Z Kai so that it gets good ratings. But on top of that, I recommend that they skip the Impel Down and the Saba Odi arc and go straight to Marine Ford. Start there. Uh, probably episode uh let's say 450ish 450ish that's the best arc of one piece this will be a good trial to see if one piece can get good ratings we know it did a couple years ago but it's been tailing off so you have one piece at nine following one piece you put hunter 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 hunter's ratings have been horrible for that show. That is an awesome show. And Toonami just throwing it aside. And putting it after. I think it's Gundam Uni Unicorn. At 1.30. Just doesn't make sense. It should be up there at the beginning. In front of the block. So you put. Hunter Hunter at. 9.30. Then at 10. You start the more mature adult. Block. So, Samurai Jack would start at 10. Then, 10.30, you would have, uh, let's see, what do we have at 10.30? 10.30, you would have your Tokyo Ghoul, the, the show that is now replacing One Piece. And then, uh, let's see, 11. At 11, you would have Naruto Shippuden. 11.30, Gundam Unicorn. JoJo's at midnight and ended off with Ghost in the Shell, like it is right now. So that would be your April 2017 Toonami block. Now, I have figured out when the next block should come into effect. Samurai Jack is 10 episodes the new season, and... Uh, Tokyo Ghoul is only a 13 episode series unless they do Route A which I don't know if they will because it's it's pretty bad. So with taking that into effect that would mean the new Toonami block would start in July which is exactly what I have. So July your first 
set block your Dragon Ball Super Kai, One Piece would stay the same. This is this would be, in my opinion, the staple block for Toonami. This would be the one that's that's pretty much the same for a while. Then 9:30, you have Hunter Hunter, still the same. This is where it starts to change. At 10 p.m., when Samurai Jack is no longer available, I think Toonami needs to get Ray Zero. It's an anime that has does not even have a dub yet. I don't know who's dubbing it, but if they could get it and find a studio to dub it, this would be an awesome show for Toonami. Then at 10.30, I would bump Naruto Shippuden up to 10.30. Okay. Then, what you would have is at 11, Attack on Titan Season 2. Everybody is so excited for Attack on Titan. Gundam Unicorn would still be going on. And then another new title, which again does not have a dub yet, is Kono Suba. Um, it's a really popular title. And then, to end the block at 12.30, I would put Yu Yu Hakusho HD and Blu-ray. This would grab the nostalgia type audience of Toonami. This show is absolutely awesome. It needs to be on Toonami again. And the fact that it has a HD rendering now, I think it would just be great for the block overall. So 1230, you would end it with Yu Yu Hakusho. And then I also have a February lineup. So in February, by that time, Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapters, would be over. So, what I thought of to replace Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapters, is Fairy Tale at 8.30. It's another long-running anime. It would solidify the block, so you'd have Super, Fairy Tale, and One Piece for the next, who knows how many years. Those are three shows that are going to be going on for a long time. So that would be how you would start the block. Now, that would put you at Hunter Hunter would follow again. Hunter Hunter would be another, you know, stable, staple of the Toonami block that I'm proposing. Because it wouldn't change either. So at 9.30 you would have Hunter Hunter. Then at 10... You would have Sword Art Online Season 3. By this time, Sword Art Online Season 3 will probably be out or close to being dubbed, hopefully. So I'm proposing Sword Art Online Season 3 for the 10 p.m. show. Naruto Shippuden would be right after Sword Art Online Season 3. And then you would get a couple, well, one new show that would again bring in the nostalgia audience. Sailor Moon Crystal at 11. Gundam IBO 2 at 11.30. Konosuba, I believe, would still be running. I think it's a 24-episode series. I could be wrong on that. Not quite familiar. And then, again, end the block off with the Yu Yu Hakusho HD. I think this mo makes the most sense. So, hopefully, Toonami, if they do nothing else, hopefully they consider moving the block up because I think that is the most important thing. If you don't change the lineup, that's fine, but the block does need to be moved up. Your ratings are continuously going down year to year to year. And I even will post a graphic uh, showing that last year compared to this year. And it's quite troubling, to say the least. And I think the biggest evidence that shows that something is wrong with Toonami is the fact that Dragon Ball Super, which I talked about this on my last show, or last um, video, Dragon Ball Super cannot match the ratings of Akame Got Kill. Yeah, not good. So, that's what I propose they do. 
and I really think my blocks that I have proposed are pretty darn solid. So hopefully you guys comment, thumbs up if you like the video. Um, I can, I'm going to say again, I will support Toonami. I will continue to, to support Toonami with Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z Kai, and then DVRing Hunter x Hunter because it's just too late. And I'm excited that we have hit 20 years for Toonami. Congratulations, Toonami. Hopefully you'll be around in another 20 years and we can celebrate 40 years. But I just think that some changes need to happen in order for that to be a reality. And uh, other than that, we'll talk to you later, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.